So I have the Xiaomi Redmi 7 here, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader to this device. Now this bootloader unlock process is actually a two-phase guide. The first phase is actually initiating the bootloader unlock process. And then you have to wait a extended period of time before you can, t can continue and complete the bootloader unlock process. So I had this device imported from China a little over two weeks ago since the average wait time of unlocking the bootloader is about 14 days, 15 days. I believe it's 360 hours. So I began the process of unlocking the bootloader as soon as the device came in, meaning that I have completed phase one, which is what I'm about to show you how to do today. And the second phase is actually the easiest because most of the work is actually in the first phase. So let me show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi 7. Now I'm not quite sure if this step is still required. It used to be required that you had to request permission to unlock the bootloader. I have heard that is no longer needed, but I'm not sure if it's no longer needed for new accounts or if it's just no longer needed for everyone. So I'm going to include that link of how to request bootloader unlock permissions in the full tutorial. And you're going to find that full tutorial down below this video in the video description for anybody who is watching this on YouTube. Now, once you have requested bootloader unlock permissions, you're also going to need to have a Xiaomi Mi account, which should go along with that requesting uh, bootloader unlock permission. And then you're going to need to open up the settings application scroll down a little bit till we get to the me account option and then you're going to need to log into your me account once that's done it's going to ask you if you want to enable things like sync and find my device and that's what you want to do you want to make sure that sync and find my device is enabled and again, you're going to see those prompts. I believe they're checkboxes as soon as you log into your account, your Mi account, on the Redmi 7. Once both of those features are enabled, then we can enable developer mode on this smartphone. Which again, if you're not familiar with how to do, look in the video description, go to my website. I have links and step-by-step -step instructions for how to do every single thing that I mention here, including enabling developer mode. And then we're going to go in the developer options page. So that we can see this option here called OEM unlocking. So we're going to enable the OEM unlocking toggle. And then we're going to look a couple of a couple of options down, and there's going to be a me unlock status option. So once we have that toggle enabled, we're going to go into the me unlock status option, and it's going to ask us to add our device. Have your SIM card in in there. Wi-Fi is disabled. Mobile data is enabled just like it mentions in the Me Unlock status page right here. Now once you have added your account and device to the Xiaomi Redmi 7 in the Me Unlock status page, then you should be told that your account is paired with the device and that you should download this unlock tool to proceed with the bootloader unlock process. Just as instructed on the Me Unlock status page, 
you're going to be told to download the Me Unlock tool. And you're going to find an exe file in there. When you open that up, it's going to bring up this program, which is going to have a disclaimer at the first page. And then it's going to ask you to sign into your Me account right afterwards. Once you've done that, you're going to be brought to this screen. And you're going to want to go ahead and connect the USB cable to the device as well as to your computer and just as it says on the screen you need to boot the device up into bootloader mode which is also known as fastboot mode so we're going to turn off the device and then we're going to hold the volume down and power buttons at the same time to boot us into bootloader mode which again is aka fastboot mode Once your Xiaomi Redmi 7 is in fastboot mode, then this program is going to detect that the phone is now connected. So it's going to check. Now it knows that the phone is connected, it gives you a warning that unlocking the bootloader will erase your data. Be aware of that. We're just gonna click the unlock button. We're gonna to have to wait through two of these warning messages. Just click the unlock anyway button whenever it is available. And then it's going to go through this detection process. It's verifying the device. It's going, attempt, going to attempt to unlock the device and then it's going to be done. As you can see, I got three green check marks instantly on this attempt because I have gone through all of this two weeks ago. Now, again, this is in this bootloader unlock process is done in two phases. The first phase is going to take you to this point where you click through those two warning messages and tell me unlock to unlock the bootloader and you're going to get one green check mark and two red X's and then you're going to be told right here to wait for X amount of hours for me it was 360 hours it's been 360 hours for the last uh, I'd say about four maybe five Xiaomi smartphones so I did all of this that I just showed you two weeks ago. So expect to get one green check mark and two red X's when you first attempt this process. Once that's done, you need to wait, just like I did. I waited two weeks, I waited my 360 days, and then I went through this process again. Now phase two of this is essentially just opening up this program, booting into fastboot mode, and doing the unlock. What you saw right here is me going through phase two. I showed you the stuff on the phone as part of phase one just so you know what needs to be done because it all depends on that two week waiting period. Now, as soon as you get these three green check marks, your Redmi 7 is going to reboot. It's going to do a factory reset. And then you're going to need to wait for it to boot back up. Because again, it has done a factory reset. That first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. But the bootloader is unlocked. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see here, the device is in its reboot phase. Again, this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal because we have just done a factory reset on the device. And that means we're going to be brought back to the Android activation screen and be told to activate Android and MIUI. And that's going to require us to have 
Uh, it's going to require us to log back into our device using our me account. So let me do that real quick and I'll show you what the home screen looks like on the device that is now unlocked. Now that I've gone through the MIUI activation screen, I can then unplug the cable and if you want to, you can take your SIM card out. It's completely up to you. I personally use my SIM card on a different phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the SIM card out now. I have connected to Wi-Fi, logged into my Mi account, and then activated MIUI. And it takes me here. So I just wanted to show you that we have the Redmi 7 here on the latest software I've gone and enabled developer mode so that you can see that whenever we go into the developer options menu not only do we have the OEM unlocking toggle enabled still but you can see this unlocked text on the me unlock status and then when we tap on that we can instantly see that the, the, the device is now unlocked and this is referring to the bootloader the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi 7 is now unlocked. I hope I made this tutorial as easy to follow as possible. Again, I recommend going to the full tutorial on my site and walking through the step-by-step -step process because I break things down much simpler and easier to understand. I make these videos so that you can follow along with that process but the full tutorial is going to have the individual step-by-step -step instructions as well as links to the details like how to enable developer mode and where to download me the me unlock tool stuff like that so there we have it that is how to unlock the Xiaomi Redmi 7